video has been sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN browser extension which encrypts all your online data. This means things like your passwords, your messages, and even your location are protected. For someone like myself who uses the internet every day, like most people nowadays, having a tool like Surfshark enabled on your devices is an absolute must. Now, one of my personal favorite things about Surfshark is there is no limit with the amount of devices you can have connected with your account. This means anything that you own, your phone, your tablet, your laptop, anything, can be linked to Surfshark and be connected and protected all at the same time and all using one account. Surfshark isn't just great for keeping you safe online though because you're able to also connect to one of over 3,000 worldwide servers to unlock content which isn't normally available in your own country. Now, for example, for some reason, Top Gear is not available on Netflix here in the UK, but if I connect to a German-based IP address, as if by magic, you search it back up on Netflix and Top Gear is now available. <laughs> now, like I said, for anyone who uses the internet at least once a day, having something like Surfshark enabled is just essential in my eyes. Now, if you guys want to go check it out, make sure you use the code Hampshire for a massive 83% off and a further three months completely free. Now, of course, a big thank you does go to Surfshark for the support. But with that said, let's crack on with the main part of today's video. Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with the brand new facelift i30N DCT. Now, I've experienced quite a few i30Ns in my time. In fact, Dan's previous car to this, you guys may recognize the number plate has been on the channel before. I absolutely love these things. And actually in the past, I have mentioned that I very nearly bought uh, an OG i30N uh, instead of a Golf R to turn into a track car. But anyway, that's besides the point. Today, we're joined with Dan's new car, the DCT facelift i30N. It'll be good to catch up with him and also to see kind of how this thing compares to the original one, seeing as Dan used to have one before, the stage three car, which I actually drove uh, after he sold it. Um, it's a bit of a storyline, so maybe we'll explain that a little bit later on, but we'll introduce you to Dan, have a walk around the car before going out and seeing what this thing is like and seeing how it compares to the previous generation. Okay, so we're joined now with Dan. Mate, it has been a while, isn't it? I know, it I know. Actually, finally get yeah. to make our video again, which yeah, we very did true. previously planned. Deja vu, isn't it? Yeah. Deja vu. Not in the same car park, but very no. close. No. Um, your new car, yes. the DCT i30N. Yeah. I mean, you had to go back to one of these. Absolutely. I just missed it. Yeah. So, so much. Your original one. one was such a beast. It was an animal. Um, I mean, by the time I finished with it, it was just, yeah. it was more of a track car than probably a road car, <laughs> which is true. kind of where I kind of want to go middle ground with this one. Yeah, um, that's it, that's so it. Um, now, when we filmed the original video, I think your car was running stage two. Yeah. Um, but after you sold it, I filmed um, the car when it was back up for sale running stage three. Yes. You stage three it before you sold it. Um, but now we're here with the facelift. Yep. Um, now obviously, this is, well, it's essentially a facelift of the original car. Yeah. It, it's, it's greater in every way, I think, personally, including yeah. the gearbox. Yes. Maybe a little bit yeah. debatable. So the gearbox very much reminds me of the M2 that I went to after okay. with the DCT. It's very, very clean, seamless. Yeah. Um, I haven't had the opportunity really to, to push it as much as I want to. Yeah. Uh, still in the braking miles at the minute. Mm. Um, but I did kind of push the test drive car, which yeah. oh, I love to. <laughs> and uh, it standard. Was, yeah, very impressive, especially with the end grin shift. So it's got a button where for oh. 30 seconds, it gives you, yeah. I can't remember how much more torque, but the gear changes, it's just a massive bang. It yeah. almost hits, makes your head hit the back of the, uh, <laughs> the seat when uh, when you are changing gear, no, which is really, enough. really impressive. Not not done it in mine one yet. Yeah, yeah, still trying to get the miles done first. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, now, to be honest, you haven't hung around with even getting the mods on it. No, one day it was. Um, one day? One day. Uh, so picked it up on the Friday and the Saturday I spent most of the day, just cosmetic parts at the moment, Yeah. Uh, fitting, because uh, it was a four month wait. So yeah. in that four months, mm. I did purchase quite a few things. Uh, <laughs> some aren't fitted at the minute. Uh, yeah. Just cosmetic parts at the minute, mm. but yes. Uh, so I mean, what you've got on the car at the moment, I spy carbon front uh, yeah. splitter. Front splitter, which, uh, Big shout out to Ben White at White Composites who let me uh, make that because that's what I do for a living, carbon okay. fiber yeah, composites. Yeah. Uh, so the black badges, 
-hmm. They are very famous in the N30N world. So I managed to get some of them because they go like hotcakes. Yeah. Uh, a guy in Germany sells them on eBay. Uh, so got them all round. Uh, I've got the Motec wheels, which are just set the car off completely. Stunning wheels. Um, they're a 19 inch uh, by 8.5. And the offset's 45, which brings it really nice and flush yeah. to the arch. So there's no spaces, no need mm. for them. And the wheels are, although these, this car now comes with a set of forged wheels, which are very light. Um, yeah. They're actually 14 kilos lighter than the previous uh, wow. i30N wheels. Um, but these are wider, so more material, but another 300 grams yeah. lighter. And they're the same wheels that you had on your previous exactly, one. Exactly, yeah, so I loved it. Throwback. So I could, yeah, I couldn't not go for them again. <laughs> now, it's, um, it's going to be an ongoing project. In fact, we'll probably get the car back on the channel somewhere down the line, oh, mate, yeah, I imagine. It'll be awesome. Um, really good. But, I mean, yeah, we'll, I think some of the stuff you've got planned is pretty cool. Handling base, suspension, yes. that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll touch on that at a later date, yeah. uh, perhaps, because of course, sure. I suppose uh, probably a good time to mention actually that you started your own channel, yes. your own YouTube channel. Yeah, I've, I've um, just started my own one, my own build. Yeah, um, so I don't want to give too many of your plans no, away no. with it, save it for um, your channel. Yeah, I've, I've had so many uh, inquiries and stuff where I was picked last year by Hyundai themselves to be the UK rep for the N brand. Yeah. Um, it pushed my Instagram channel quite high, which yeah. was quite cool uh, and an honor yeah. to, to be picked. Um, so I had a lot of questions um, and I enjoy helping people yeah, uh, yeah. with their cars. So I've started my own channel or trying Wicked. to, yeah. <laughs> uh, to kind of just show everything that I'm doing with this awesome. car. Well, of course you can find the links for uh, Dan's Instagram and YouTube channel uh, linked below. But um, I mean, suppose power stats, I mean, comparing this to the original car, you're probably the best person yeah. uh, we'll <laughs> in try. the scene to ask. Um, I mean, obviously it's, it's a touch more. Um, yes. You were saying that it's got a, basically a different turbo, different compression yeah. ratio, so things like the that. The turbo's been re-engineered because it was the bottleneck on the previous uh, yes. car. So the, it's been enlarged on the inlet and outlet it is uh, actually the turbines spin the other way. Okay. Um, so the turbo, instead of going that way, goes that way. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it is much more open to larger amounts of tuning. Yeah. Um, you can get higher BHP and mm. torque um, just from even stage one. Yeah. Um, so the, with that in mind, it's, it's created another five brake horsepower from yeah. stock and oh, the okay. torque's up quite substantially. Yeah, like so 40 or 50 or something yeah, like that. Something around yeah. that. Um, which even for a stock increase over a previous generation, it, I mean, to be honest, going from generation to generation, they're not going to make it no. loads different. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. But yeah. I mean, if it's more liable to tuning, then that's a big thumbs up. Oh, exactly, yeah, <laughs> massively. Um, so the fueling, uh, I've been talking to John at Courtney Sport, the, the fueling will maybe be the same. It should be okay. So my mm. last one, I had to upgrade the f high pressure fuel pump. Yes. Um, when we get there, we might have to do that, but mm -hmm. might not have to. Uh, it's a bit of an unknown territory on the facelifts at the mm. minute. Yeah. Um, but power-wise, I think that is pretty much it. Yeah. The actual block's the same. The compression ratio is different, mm -hmm. um, but everything else is the same there. But you, like you were saying, actually, stage one, you can get like 350 yeah, brake. Yeah, 350 brake. Um, so Which is nuts. Not, yeah, it's, it's quite crazy just yeah. for stage one map. Your stage three was 386, Yeah, wasn't it? that's right, with the hybrid <laughs> turbo yeah. and the upgraded fuel pump. And, and everything. Yeah. No, yeah, fair so play, it's, it's fair play. Impressive. Well, it's an awesome car. I absolutely love these. There's a, I've got a big soft spot for them. Yeah. Um, and I'm very, very excited to actually experience it. Yeah. Uh, I imagine it was probably quite cool for you to go from your old one to this. Yeah. So I think if that is pretty much everything, we'll hop on board, cool. go have some fun and kind of speak about kind of how it compares more to the previous one. Yeah, yeah? let's go. Let's do it. weird kind of being in this platform with a different gearbox because yeah. it's a massive part of how the i30 in drives and everything yeah. was behind any car really so i was really on the fence about mm. to go for a manual or a dct yeah because the manual was so much more engaging yeah um and the, a real game changer believe it or not was the forge short shifter so it's always a fun car but it's so strange to think of how such a small mod can oh, change yeah. the entire driving yeah. experience. I can relate to the Golf R. Yes. Different product also, but... Yeah. But yeah, because you've got a forward, a forward, forward short shifter on the Golf, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that really, really changed the game for me. Mm. And so when the DCT came out, it was, I think it was around 40 to 50 kilos heavier over the front axle, and you think, yeah. oh God, but the convenience of the DCT 
is so good. Yeah. Um, it cruises in eighth gear. And that was an eight-speed GTT. Yeah. Yes, and it it was getting. 43 to the gallon at wow. in my mid journey on the M25 on the way home, mm. which is crazy from yeah. a two litre turbo. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. But yeah, I do love it. It's really seamless. Mm. Uh, like, just change your service. Yeah, it's, to, it's so smooth. Isn't it? Yeah. You obviously have all the, the usual end modes and all the driving yeah, modes. Yeah, exactly that. the same. Yeah, so you've still got the three kind of normal sport, eco, although sports kind of never used. Yeah, yeah. Never for me anyway. Just straight. It's either. Comfort or, eco, or uh, comfort or, or N, N yeah. yeah. And the ends are exactly the same. You get the the full blown N mode, mm. or you have the N custom where you can map oh, it out. Oh, which I remember that from your last you. one? Actually, yeah. it is quite cool. It's a bit of a different screen on this one, so that's kind of like that's awesome, isn't it? Your N mode, but then when you want to go to your custom, it's kind of like a spider graph on this oh, one. Yeah. You kind of pull it as oh, to wow. where you want to see what you want to like increase yeah. or decrease. So that's, that's so cool, cool isn't it? Yeah. So if you were just to drive on a track, it, the car will sense that you are driving it hard mm -hmm. and it will just automatically turn its things to like oh, wow. stiffer suspension yeah, and, yeah. and more responsive throttle. So there's a challenge there. You've got to make it think you're on a track and <laughs> yeah. you're not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, we'll try on this one, but I'm not <laughs> yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know you. You're going to do a lot to this. Yeah, <laughs> I know you are. I've got, got quite a lot already booked in. Um, <laughs> yeah. Some so well, some in just a couple of days' time. Yeah. Um, going to Forge for their development. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So which I, it's going to be quite cool to see what new parts they're going to come out with mm. uh, with the DCT. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I don't want to go too mad. Mm. That's what everyone says early on in their own. Yeah, <laughs> and this, this is the problem. You'll watch this video back in a year's time. Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure think, on mm. our first video, I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to bother hybrid in the turbo. <laughs> yeah. I think it was three months later, yep, yeah, hybrid the turbo. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, one big difference, which I didn't realise until you mentioned to me, was obviously the OPFs now been brought in to yes. this car compared to yours. It's still pretty loud, actually. It's not too bad, For, uh, is it? It has got a bit of pop. It's just we, we heard through yeah, the underpass. Absolutely. But I am going to go with the GPF delete yep. and uh, Sport Cat downpipe, mm -hmm. and that's going to RPM performance to get that done. Nice, um, yeah. As soon as they are ready. They're only just releasing the, the Sport Cat now, so I wanted to wait for that rather than go for a D-Cat. Yeah. Um, they do go quite raspy on this car mm. with the decats. So I didn't want to go too bad. Yeah. Um, and even the GPF delete are going to go with a resonated one. Yeah. So I don't want it too as bow loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you're going to track it as well, it's... Yeah. Yeah, you've got to stay behind the, um, the noise meter, yeah. isn't it? But yeah, I mean, it, it's a, a good sign that you still get some excitement even in its stock form like this. Yeah. That when you open it up more, it's going to be yes. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I mean, it was really quite surprising to jump back in this and for it to be as responsive mm. um, as my last one, or nearly as, because mm. I've done quite a lot of handling mods the last one, and I'm going to pretty much replicate what I've done yeah. and a bit more on this one, mm. which will still mean it will be okay to drive every day without being too uncomfortable. Mm. Uh, but this really did surprise me of how much feedback it gets. You know. The, the steering input is you know minimal and it, mm. it just goes um, it was very surprising you can tell that this car's got potential yeah it's it really has got potential so I'm not taking it above 4,000 just like I said earlier yeah. we're in the braking period yeah but uh, it's still quite it's a lot more torquey than my old one mm. uh, so they, they claim it's 280 brake now I haven't seen it myself but mm. there are reports of a car being stock on a dyno and it's it's already dynoing at 300 305 it wouldn't surprise me to be honest no it wouldn't surprise me so i know that is it the the golf r8 yeah the There's, mark 8 i did a video of that at, yeah down at regal and yeah it, it made like 30 horsepower more anyway like we mentioned earlier on you guys can check out dan's instagram and brand new youtube channel uh, linked down in the description i know there's going to be a lot of 
well, i30M based videos. Yeah, pretty definitely. much i30M based, yeah. Um, and no doubt we'll catch up maybe somewhere down the line when this thing is running a lot more power than what it is yeah, or definitely. whatever. Um, and yeah, that'll be great fun indeed. But for now, at least, that is going to wrap things up. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.